It's Wrestling Hero Figs. We are wrapping up Elite Series 75 today with Kalisto and Mandy Rose. They're all up at Ringside Collectibles. Hit the link in the description below. Discount code HERO will save you 10%. Here they all are, man. We already looked at Pete Dunn. We looked at Jeff Hardy, Seth Rollins, and the Hurricane, the final two. And then we're going to gather up the entire wave and give you my overall thoughts as to which one stood out from this series. Definitely nice to add to the addition, man. The Ruthless aggression era it's been growing quite a bit obviously these two aren't gonna help you out with that but what i'm saying is that that jeff hardy man is so nice to see that as well as you know what let's talk about these two because these are the ones that we are reviewing today all right interchangeable hands we got the lucha house party ones that are going right there on the bottom we got semi claw i mean they are full-on open but they're kind of like clawed in and then the ones that are on the figure right here are the ones that are enclosed a little bit more now this little accessory piece right here it does have some articulation but it doesn't make the rattle noise, man. What's up with that? I mean, I'd be asking a little bit too much if they actually did include it. The colors, we're getting the Mexico red, white, and green. Here, all you got to do is spin it around, and it's supposed to make a rattling sound. The base of it all, there is not much. It's just a solid black piece, and it does slide in there pretty good. So, Kalisto, again, man, no piñatas here, but at least we're getting the rattly toy. Really nice little extra. The Lucha House Party, we already did see it with the other two. Too, so it's not something that you know we're gonna sit here and glamour over after all it's rubber so you guys already know how I feel about that but it is reflecting and representing the earlier days of WWF and yes I said that correct because it was WWF back then and then WWE you know they got it all swapped around and once it does come off the tattoos yeah th there's been more there's been Kalisto has done quite a bit this is the very first release that we did see. I don't think this, I think this might have been the second. I'll have to go back. But uh, yes, nonetheless, you can see there is so much more. There was no bag tattoo. There was a little bit on the left side as well as on the right. But on the back of this one, look at that. Look at all those eagles and birds. And what is it with people and eagles and birds? Hero Fix, if you were a tattoo person, you'd know exactly the representation of it all, man. That's pretty nice, though. I mean, the detail on that, I do like the overall paint apps on both tats, man. Really nice. Very down to the bottom of it all for them to get it all accurate and correct, dude. Really, really cool. All right, so the rest right here. The armbands. It's the same matching blue that we're seeing on the mask, around the waistband, as well as the forearm areas. So we're getting more of the tribal animal design right here on the sleeves with a little bit of gold and red accents to kind of wrap it all up. Even the eyes, you can see that the eyes right there on the, would you consider that a dragon? I don't know what that is. It's either a dragon, an eagle. I know this right here. This is finger tape here, fake. So well, at least you got that right. I did. But it is orange. It's orange versus red. So I'm not sure, man. I got, you'd have to look at the side. I feel like right there, yeah, we're getting a solid black, so maybe they just wanted to get creative, or maybe he did wear it like that one of the nights. I'm just freaking nuts. But all right, waistband right here. I like this, dude. This waistband, it's actually one piece, one individual piece right here. And they've always done that with Kalisto, so it's not something to write home about, but it's still nice to point out that they added that, as well as the back of this. This is really cool, man. Very, very articulated. I mean, all of them, all the masks for Kalisto, he's very much like Ray Ray, where he's kind of kept like the traditional of the style like on the back on the overall look I, the paint apps always do change so that's one thing about the mask man behind that i do see him i do think i mean i've never met the man without the mask so i i can't say oh dude it looks exactly like him but the images that have been leaked of kalisto without a mask i can see that being reflected even the goatee the goatee big bush going on right there the mouth dude I don't think we've ever gotten a mouth as to what you're seeing right here. Like the depth, it just goes on forever. The tongue, like you can put your finger in there and it can go pretty far back. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. I'm going to put a hand in there so you can get a good idea of what I meant. It's not just cut out like some of the other screaming scans that I've looked. Look at this, you guys. You can fit, I mean, him, he should have no issue right there going up to Lars Sullivan backstage and be like, so, uh, you wrecked all three of us, right? You wanted a handicap match. Well, check this out. I'm going to bite your finger off. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> all right, so all that, uh, I do like it, man. I, I, I'm a big fan of this, the head scan. The overall, like, paint quality on this figure, the tooling is just great. We're seeing Kalisto, the, te the design right here on the knee pads, as well as on the front right there, the kick pads. Very glamorous, very just vibrant when it comes to the, the whole look of this figure. I am very, very happy to wrap this because you get them all alongside with his other two broskies. Look at this, man. We're getting all matching. Lucha, Lucha. 
Check. Come on, Kalisto. You're doing it right. We're always doing it right. No, you're not. Thinking I'm giving him a clear for sure nine. And why are you taking the one point? It's just a shirt, man. I mean, I'm not a fan of it. I'm glad we got it included. But ultimately, I still wish and I feel like they could have gone with cloth. I mean, they did it with Hurricane. So why is it Kalisto not fitting that bill? Because, dude... Otis right here, he has finally gotten his hands on the very first elite Mandy Rose. Yes, and I say that first time because the other time that she was released, it was in basic figure form. Now, mine did have an issue. I mean, it wasn't the way that I got it in the packaging. I don't know what ended up I think I ended up dropping her. And the nose ended up getting all smushed. So seeing the release right here with a darker skin tone, like she went in there. She really got into the tanning bed and just got an extra tone to it all, man. I mean, you guys picking up on this interchangeable hands right here? That's that signature pose. I'll get it out so you guys can see it because this is the very first release of this specific mold when it comes to the hands this is kind of like the pose that she does right there and she's making her way down the entrance rampway come on focus with me camera work with me you guys see that it's like a mixture of a shocker and i'm um, just waking up rubbing my eyes and this is what we're seeing so pretty nice man really cool rampway yes action entrance theme you name it we're going to be able to do it with those hands now this one the basic this is more like a daniel O'Brien skin tone and this this is more like a Dolph Ziggler yes I feel like that's the accurate approach because it is a lot darker man it's telling night and day even the hair you see that the how the hair is like down on this one so if you were thinking about head swapping it just know that you are gonna have to go in there for sure and do something about the paint tone because yeah it's not gonna match it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb which one do I prefer mm, man this has got that seductive look I feel like the seductive look is working on this one but when it comes to the hair I ah, like this hair a lot better dude i think the hair down the hair down on a woman is always gonna outweigh you know as opposed to like a point i mean this is personal preference but i'm just saying like i always prefer a woman with her hair down. i don't know just you know you can see all the locks just glamoring through the side so for me, it's got to be the hair down. Now, on the side right here, they did mold that. So all the molding right there, it's all correct. All the proper tooling was utilized on this figure down to the ponytail. Even the entrance vest. The entrance vest, we're getting some really nice gold accents right here on the insides, as well as all the way around the collared area. And then on the sides right here, you can see that more of it is continuing. Now, they didn't go on and paint it. Like, you can tell that they made an attempt up top, and they just kind of gave up. They're like, well, they're not going to be seeing that they're going to be seeing the inside of the jacket so i can see you know why they took that approach this on this side they just didn't even do anything at all <laughs> so again it's one of those things that it's like it's all on how you look at it like i don't think she would ever wear it inside i don't ever picture her buckling it up otis wouldn't like that i feel like you would just make the man aggravated he'd have to go talk to his mom and be like yo i need to get this picked up right away from ringside man i need to go on there use discount code hero and make sure i get this picked up now for the top right here let's take this off so you guys can see the rest of the top let me show you the top we gotta see the top it would not be mandy rose without the proper top and proper it is all the tooling right there it's all accurate the bottom the sides going across the chest area the back even the bottom dude like all this i mean i feel like she should have a little bit of you know some going on maybe like a high gloss finish because that's kind of what i'm seeing right there but nonetheless i am liking the overall look of the attire you can see the belt coming across right there the knee pads having the same matching gold as the rest of the boots and then we got rose on the right and Rose on the left with a little bit of white shoelaces. I'm giving her a clear, clear, solid 10. I was a fan when they debuted her, the expression, everything about it. Let's get the full series in here and find out what Elite Series 75 brought to the table, right? We had the Chase. We had the original Gregory Helms. I'm just going to call him Hurricane. Hero Fix, call him Hurricane. You're grabbing the wrong Kalista. <laughs> All right, number one, I'm going to give it to, mm, man, it's it's kind of a fight. It's a fight between right here, between Pete Dunne and the Chase figure. I'm Yeah, I'm still leaning towards the Chase. I feel like this is number one, number two, number three, number four, five, Jeff or Rollins. You'd be a lot higher if it wasn't for all those things that they missed on the attire. And then right here, Kalisto. I'm going to give it to Mandy Rose next and Kalisto last. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.